Could AOL have the answer to email overload? I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Keeping your email inbox organized can be an impossible task, especially when accounts are packed with so much gray mail and deal alerts. Personally, I simply gave up trying to tame the beast. But AOL is working on an answer to fix email. Yeah, I said AOL. It's created this email client called Alto, which puts different categories of email into their own piles, and it teaches itself to sort messages into stacks automatically. People don't use email folders, so this is a new very visual way to get your inbox more organized without putting in much effort. And if your messages look organized, you won't feel stressed, or so that's the idea, right? It also lets you break down the analytics of your email and see social media connections from the sender, like their most recent tweet or other connections they have in common with you. It works with Gmail, Yahoo, Apple, iCloud, and of course AOL. You can have it manage up to five different accounts at once, and you have to sign up to be part of the private beta test now. It probably won't be publicly available until February of next year. Yelp is cracking down on companies that cheat by paying for reviews. If Yelp sees that a business is trying to inflate reviews, it will post a consumer alert for 90 days to call out the company for not playing by the rules, and there will be a link to the evidence that it compiled. It would also show a warning when it sees too many reviews posted from the same IP address. And Pinterest is also getting tough. Users can block and report questionable activity, like posts that involve nudity, hate, or violence. Over the next week, people will be able to block users' flag pins or report an entire user's profile to be reviewed. Need a cheap laptop just for doing work online? Google announced a new Chromebook made by Samsung, and it's for $250. It's very light and thin. It's a browser-based system, meaning you don't download applications. Everything's run through a Chrome web browser. It's not a very powerful laptop because it uses a processor found in tablets, but it could be something you keep around a house to do some quick work online, and it's good if you do most of your work in Google Docs. And the app Uber is in the news again. It lets users call a car for pickup. It shows the location of the driver and the app automatically charges your credit card. On Thursday, Uber added the ability to hail a taxi in San Francisco. But at the same time, it canceled the taxi feature for New York. Uber gave up battling New York's regulations. The city's Taxi and Limousine Commission is strict on how to pay for rides. New Yorkers, though, can still use the app to order black car pickup, which can be more expensive. That's your tech news update for today. You can find links to all of today's stories on our blog, cnet.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.